Hello folks, thanks for joining me. I'm here in my shed, boat garage, man cave, whatever you choose to call it. I'm going to do another Baker bit and I'm going to talk about this stringer system I use. Uh, I'm amazed at the number of people that contact me or comment on my videos and want more information on this stringer system. It's really pretty simple. Um, I'm not smart enough to keep up with a clicker. I keep forgetting to, to click the button and I lose count and I'm fishing around in my live well trying to figure out how many fish I have and I do the same thing with those bead counters uh, you catch a fish you pull the bead down I can't ever remember to pull the bead down so I'm just not smart enough to use one of those things so I came up with what for me has been a foolproof system I'm in Missouri and most of the lakes I fish on Lake of the Ozarks, Truman Lake, Mark Twain Lake they have a 15 fish limit, daily limit. So I, I wanted a stringer that uh, when I fill it up, I've got my 15 fish. I can look down and if I missed a hook, uh, it's easy to tell. I don't have to dig around in my live well and uh, recount my fish. So what I did is I just went to Bass Pro Shop. We're fortunate to have one here in Columbia where I live. And I just bought two of these cable type stringers. They are uh, just called Pro Series Cable Stringers. The problem with these is they only come with 10 hooks. So if you want a stringer with 15 hooks, you have to buy two of them, obviously. And so I did that. I bought two of these and you just uh, open them up And you'll see it's a cable and the hooks, the hooks are on a little uh, barrel uh, that slides up and down the cable and I like that. It keeps the hook separated um, but you've got to figure out how to get 15 hooks on this on this stringer. Now on one end it's got a little ferrule that clips the cable and it's got a hook on the end so I, I leave this end just as it is. The other end slide these barrels down. Sometimes they'll get a little tight on there, but slide them down. The other end uh, has a ring uh, to hold on to. It's just a big split ring, but it's got a little ferrule. So what you have to do, first thing, is you need to cut this end off. Um, I'm not smart enough to know how to release that ferrule. Maybe you all are. I just cut it off. Use whatever tool suits you. A little uh, cut-off tool. You can even do it with a hacksaw. Uh, one little tip uh, I learned from uh, watching a YouTube video, if you're going to cut this cable, put a little uh, masking tape on it first and then cut in the middle of that and it keeps the ends of this cable from fraying. Because after you get it cut and you put the loop back in there, and I just went to uh, the local hardware store and bought some more of those little ferrules. Actually, I bought a 5 32nd ounce size, which seems to work fine on this cable. So, um, I'm not going to bore you with the details of cutting the end off of this thing. You can figure out how to do that uh, with whatever method works best for you. Okay, so here we go. I've cut uh, both ends off these two stringers. I'm simply going to take five hooks off of one and put them on the other. Try to put them on in the same uh, orientation that these are on. In other words, the, the uh, hook being down toward the bottom of the string. So feed that through the bottom of that barrel. So now I have 15 hooks on this stringer. If I fill up every hook, I've got my limit. There's no miscount. I 
take the end uh, that I just cut off, take one of my little ferrules that I bought, run it in there, make another little loop on the end. This ferrule may actually be a little big. It may not take one that big. Now I'll tell you, I don't have the proper tool to crimp this thing. So what I do is simply lay it down on the concrete floor and hit it with a hammer. It smashes it. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's effective. It works. Then simply take your split ring on the end you cut off. Put your split ring back on that end. And there you have it. A stringer with 15 hooks. Of course, if, if your limit is 30 or whatever it is, I don't know if you could get 50 hooks on this. I'd say you could get uh, 30, uh, 25, whatever your limit is. You want to do that, or uh, you know, if you may, if your limit's 30, make up two of them, 15 each. And when you fill up all the hooks, you know you've got your limit. Okay, and then I'll get up in the boat and I'll show you how I use these things uh, so that they're easy to get to the hooks and keep track. Okay, so here we are, we're in the boat. I'm fishing along, I take my stringer, move all the hooks away from the one end down to the other end. I catch my first fish, put it on the end. This cable's pulling long. I just drop it all the way down up to the next hook. Close the lid. Fish around. Catch another fish. Come back here. Take my next hook. Put a fish on. Slide it down. Put it back in the live well. Do that. Of course, you got your limit. All your hooks have been Move down to the other end with all your fish on. You got your stringer hanging out. You get home or you get ready to take your fish out. You don't have to get in the live well. You don't have to get your hands wet, especially in this wintertime weather. Simply reach down, pull them up, hold them up, take a pose, take a picture. It's that simple. I like it. I hope it works for you.